what was it like to see the Raptors filled with fans for this type of basketball game? That's the first question. I mean, it's, it's just absolutely blown away. Um, when I came here with Cal, I had a couple of former Cal players here, you know, Laisha Clarendon, who's played with the Sparks, and Talia Caldwell, who's now also a USC grad. Um, and we reminisced about when I would come here with Cal, it would be not that many people, and most of them were cheering for us at Cal, because we had a lot of SoCal kids. And I, I just, again, the number of times I've, you know, had conversations with recruits who say, oh, but the other coaches in the league say you don't get fans. And particularly for Juju, I, I just, I know we talked about it a lot, but there were times her sophomore and junior year, or mainly her junior year, where I'm like, do we want Juju to come to this game? I'm like, are there going to be enough people? <laughs> you know, because I, I'm worried, you know? But for her to believe in herself enough in a positive way like it's unbelievable like this is a usc crowd but this is a juju crowd you know and, and the eyes on us and then to have everyone else our grad transfers our kids who have stayed here to buy into this because this was the vision of what it could be is unbelievable but to look up and see all those rafters the top the upper deck yeah. full i mean yeah. people were here yeah. three hours ahead it was unreal and i think it speaks to southern california and both teams and how good both teams are and what you know both teams are trying to build but i mean i think we're fun to watch play basketball like i would come every time if I was just a fan, you know, to watch Juju, to watch Kenzie, to watch what the team is going to do together. And so it's very, very meaningful. You know, we're going to we're going to consider it kind of one game and try to move on and win. But I'd be crazy if I didn't say, look at what this is. And an administration has to commit, you yeah. know, um, everyone here in marketing has to commit. And the players have to practice like when the big lights are on, we're ready. And that's what that's what we did. And then my second question, I thought that the second chance points was the biggest difference in the game for you guys. Yeah. Yep. Um, that is literally my first time looking at a stat sheet because we won the game and it's been chaos. But at the end of the you know the first half, I thought we had more offensive rebounds than them. We ended up with the same number of offensive rebounds. They out rebounded us by one. But what was the total second chance points? Fourteen to four. Fourteen to four. Yes. I mean, that's the difference. Exactly. They are the best offensive rebounding team that people face. Everyone across the country would tell you that. And to dominate them, I mean, Jew like ripping offensive rebounds and scoring and Clarice was phenomenal <laughs> um, kick outs after that I mean the second that there you go I mean that's the difference there in terms of you know a, a stat that jumps out thank you